hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh today i will actually be discussing about uh, bandwidth test using ubiquity router okay um what we want to discuss today is not too um uh intensive though it's just for us to actually look at how we can use the microtic router to actually um um test uh, the throughput of our last mile, maybe our capacity trunk or, or transmission link. So I I did one yesterday, last week rather, and I encountered one or two issues. So I thought I should share this on my channel. Maybe uh, one or two guys might find it interesting or helpful. So that is why I am actually uh, doing this. Normally, um, for a a bandwidth to be conducted uh, on on the link most of the time is actually maybe uh, as a result of um, a, a high capacity link or you store a point to point link uh, you want to actually know how uh, what these two um, link can actually transmit for you before you uh, integrate it or activate it as you can see from the picture uh, i have here i have a point to point link uh attaches the poe and uh, uh, the router at one end and router at the other end okay the essence of this is that uh, we 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 use the same router at both ends so that uh, we actually have a good um results for for the for the for the throughput as mean that they uh, have a good report for the rs and the ts of the link so uh, that is that so i, I will I, I, later in this tutorial i'll be talking about the factors that uh, will make us to have good reports uh, um, good results rather on this test so that uh, in the future um we actually know the right step to take when we want to conduct this bandwidth test so it is actually a very very essential to note that uh, we use the same router having the same operating system version on them that is when we actually get something uh, uh desired uh so but in this particular tutorial what i uh, want to actually do for us to have a feel of um uh what i want to discuss today is that uh, i want to actually run a bandwidth test on the link okay uh i'll conduct a bandwidth test on my device actually you see how it's being done not just me uh showing you pictures of how to do things i'm not actually uh uh carry out a a uh, uh, uh show or exhibit how to actually uh, do this these things so um but i i don't have uh a, a point to point link where i have to do a test from here where i am now uh and the other guy have to be on the other side for us to do the test but what i know is that the uh, um we can if you can see the uh the picture the image on the on, the, on your screen now you see that i, I have a, a micro tick radio on your left while i have a, a micro -tick router to my right so what i'm trying to establish is that i want to able to link up the the, the micro -tick radio and the micro -tick router together so that uh, we can actually um conduct the test using the micro router via a patch cable to the micro radio so with that i can actually be able to experiment to you but it, we will not get a good result like i said to you before that we have to uh, it is essential we use the same type of router or device using having the same operating system for this one it's obvious that we are not actually able to use the same we are not even using the same device 
calculus of uh, now saying that we want to use the same operating system on them. So, um, but one factor I want to also let us know is that uh, we have to be on the same network uh, with the the, the, two, the the two devices we are actually working on. Okay, which you see that in in the why I want to actually show you the uh, the real the the practical step on how to actually carry out the bandwidth test here on the network. So um, the this image, uh, the reason why I actually added this picture is, is for us to actually see that uh, the essence of carrying out a bandwidth test majorly is done for high capacity link, mostly on point to point link, because most of these higher capacity are being used to actually to uh, share the service at the particular geographical area, okay? And um, or they are actually used for a huge chunk of, uh, they are actually used to carry a huge chunk of traffic from one location to another. So it is very, very paramount to actually check if this particular link can actually deliver a particular capacity or throughput we want it to deliver. So that is why we ensure that uh, we uh, we carry out this test so that then by the time we integrate or the link comes up or come live, we will not be having issue of um, uh, capacity issue uh, whenever that link is. Uh, now moving to the video or uh, the practical step on how to actually carry out, out, carry out this boundary test using our routers. But for the purpose of this training, I'm using a RB 750 router and a Sestant radio so that I can, at least for me to actually show you how this thing is done. And from there, you can actually see that then these are the step by step to do it, but we are not getting the actual result we are supposed to get. But if we are actually follow every factors that we are supposed to follow, we will get the best results uh, that is expected of us. So let's slide in. Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again today. Um, I will be discussing bandwidth test using Microtik router in today's tutorial. So I actually want to focus on um, how to use uh, this section of the uh, Microtik device, uh, Microtik router, um, and actually see how we can test uh, any of our link, maybe point to points or point to multi point for the purpose of um, for the purpose of checking the link throughput or capacity. So um, the, the the tutorial is in different sections actually. So this area is just for me to actually to practice uh, what I've been trying to explain uh, using the um, the schematic diagram or the network design I've been trying to explain to you all this while. Well. So um, what I'm actually using now is um, I did an installation last week for a 500 Mbps a backhaul link, and um, I I had some challenges. So I thought that the, I should share them so that the we all can actually uh, learn from what uh, I actually went through before I was able to actually, uh, before I was able to have success on achieving that particular project. So, but since this particular project is, this particular test, I don't have an existing point-to-point -point link, you know, I have to be at the local where there will be somebody at the remote. So because I don't have that, what I have done is that I'm using a router and a, a microtic uh, a microtic router and a microtic radio, uh, which I am able, I was able to match them together from the microtic router. So from the router, oh, I can reach the microtic, and from the microtic router, I can reach the 
microtic uh, radio and from the microtic radio i can also reach the microtic router and from with that since i can i've been able to sync the two devices together then i should be able to do a bandwidth test between, between the two i will attach the picture of what i'm explaining so that you actually see what i have done for me to actually achieve it so it's also a more like a point to point so and uh, you you see that i'm testing from one uh device to another device but this time the medium of communication between the two devices is just a patch cable or a one meter patch cable whereas uh the test i did on uh on the project was a, a 70 kilometer microwave link, uh, microwave link uh, installation so uh for us to actually do the test how we need to do is um we need to come to tools come to bandwidth test and uh, here the ip address on my uh, router is 192.100.5 slash 24 where where we are going is a uh, 100.4 well let us ping 100.4 if it is available so 100.4 is available okay and um, you can see we can reach ourselves okay and um, we are here also okay i haven't done that so let's don't then let's now conduct our test 192.168.100.4 so we want to the protocol we want to use tcp and we want to have both direction and um uh, the authentication is admin and the password is um, okay I'm gonna click on start so uh, with that it should run okay so basically this is just how to conduct a uh, the test as you can see from here uh, it's showing the TS and RS we also have the tier and array to show you what the upload is doing and what the download is doing and here you can see the current um uh, tier and array you can pull and the average is average of what is actually doing is this okay and normally if all things being equal we're supposed to have a steady ts and rs connection but as you can see Okay, so the, the test is running as you can see from here. And uh, here is uh, the TS and RS. This is not uh, a true test of how a good performance link should, should be. We can see that the one we are only having is the TS that is running, but this test is just for me to show, just show you how to run a bandwidth test i'll show you some of the pictures of the bandwidth test i did using a microwave radio okay these are the factors i want to consider um, before running a bandwidth test using a micro tick device at all these factors are very crucial else you might be um wondering if um you're actually not doing the right thing when i i was working on this manual test last week i i was thinking maybe it was a um, cable issue i almost asked my regular to climb uh, and i was also looking at um could it be um could it also be um mtu size or i was well I was able to actually detect that um, uh, the error was actually coming for the fact that I'm using uh, RB750 at my end, while at the remote end, they are actually using a micro six switch. So with that, you are not actually getting a good result. What we were actually getting was uh, one leg of the device working while the other leg uh, was naturally coming up so number two factor is that uh, 
the two routers must operate on the same uh, operating system. If not, uh, we'll still be expressing the same issue we are, we are expressing uh, on number one. Also, um, number three, we should also ensure that then we the authentication um, is disabled from the other router in case we are finding it difficult to log into the, the remote router. With that, we will be able to um, access the router at the other end and actually conduct uh, test. I'm saying that because the other guy wanted to conduct the test to my end, uh, it wasn't until uh, we had to disable authentication from my own router before uh, we we could work. So we ended up changing our router from RB750 to Cloud Core. Um, Microsoft Cloud Core router uh, operating on the same uh, operating on the same OS for the two device for the two router and hence we were able to get a very uh, solid um, um, results which uh, as you, uh, which you can actually see on my on my on your screen rather so i hope um this um this um is has been helpful and uh, uh, informative to you um subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you on the next one thank you bye